Welcome friends to another video, welcome to another fragrance review and this time around I'm going to talk about Artisan Pure from the house of John Varvatos. My latest video was um, another John Varvatos fragrance but that one was Artisan Blue from the same Artisan lineup which is quite an interesting lineup. Today I'm going to talk about Artisan Pure because this is a very very beautiful scent it was launched in 2017 and the nose behind this one is the in-house perfumier called Rodrigo Flores Rue. And this is a fragrance made especially for summertime or at least in my book for warm and hot weather. That means late spring, the whole summer and early fall very beautiful composition made mostly out of citruses good enough performance and projection not the greatest but uh, you cannot expect uh, monster longevity and monster projection from citrus based fragrances also this one shares a lot of similarities with some other fragrances that i also have in my collection Mainly due to the bergamot not found uh, in the opening, it resembles quite a lot with uh, Eau Sauvage Cologne from the house of uh, Christian Dior. Also, uh, it shares um, similarities with uh, Aqua di Parma Cedro di Taormina, also with um, Hermes uh, Concentré d'Orange Vert. Let's start with the composition of this fragrance. We have Clementine Lemon Bergamot mandarin we have uh, thyme and uh, marjoram in the opening in uh, the hard notes we have uh, ginger and patty grain and in the base notes we have uh, woody notes musk iris root and also amber so not a highly complicated composition but as you can see there is a full blast of citruses and the main note on my skin is the bergamot. That's why I said that it resembles a lot with um, um, Eau Sauvage Cologne from Dior and also with Cedro di Taormina from Aqua di Parma. But here you have also the Clementine, you also have uh, the Mandarin, you also have the Lemon that uh, support this amazing, um, beautiful bergamot note. And they all come out very juicy, very zesty at the same time. And you also have there a very well done time accord accompanied by the marjoram. So it becomes a bit herbal, a bit green, aromatic, but not uh, very pungent. Still, it does manage to support the citruses very, very well. Afterwards, you get the petty grain, and that's why I said that it resembles with uh, Concentré d'Orange Vert, mainly because that one uh, is uh, based a lot on orange, and uh, the petty grain inside here, combined with the Clementine, with the Mandarin, with the Lemon and the Bergamot, manages to somehow um, transmit the same feeling, just like the one made by Hermes. But you also get a very interesting ginger note in this one and then come the woody notes uh, from behind mainly uh, the main accord i would say is musk and amber this is the package uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, cardboard boxes i am not therefore i'm going to give it away and this is how the bottle looks which is really really beautiful this isn't uh, real wood, it uh, resembles wood, but uh, inside, as you can see, it's plastic. Very good atomizer, it sprays a lot of juice, covers a uh, big surface. With uh, the John Varvatos um, inscription on the atomizer and the cap, and on the base, you get, you get the same material like the cap, with all the info. Really nice design, I really love these bottles from John Varvatos, from this lineup. I think they are really, really beautiful to have in the collection. In terms of performance, this fragrance performs good. Not the best, not the greatest, but it does manage to perform good, especially for a citrus-based fragrance. 
I usually get good longevity on my skin and uh, considering that I'm wearing the fragrance when it's still winter time because it's the beginning of February uh, I have no objections about the longevity projection wise it's quite good for the first two hours afterwards it becomes a skin scent and in terms of sillage well let's say the sillage is a bit uh, on the moderate side of things and it's also very good if you ask me for aroma therapy so if you need uh, a, or better said if you like fragrances that manage to induce you a really good state of mind um, that try to relax you before you go to um, sleep at night then this is a fragrance that really truly manages to do this thing because it, this is um, first and foremost if you ask me a holiday scent it simply makes you uh, think about holidays uh, vacation i don't know going uh, to the seaside when uh, summer arrives uh, this is the feeling that you get every single time that you're gonna try and wear John Varvatos Artisan Pure or at least this is what happens with me and on my skin I wouldn't say it's unique in terms of um, its scent but um, what I would say is the fact that the ingredients used in this fragrance are really high quality and really well blended I simply love the citruses I actually consider them to be as good as the ones that uh, Aqua di Parma does in their uh, Blue Mediterraneo lineup, for example. So this says a lot about Artisan Pure and uh, how the perfumier managed to um, combine all the notes. Also, uh, they almost feel uh, like uh, natural ingredients. And this also says a lot about the quality of the juice, the quality of the ingredients and uh, the attention to detail at the same time that uh, John Varvatos um, has put into this fragrance. This is a flanker to the original Artisan which was uh, really bad in terms of longevity, in terms of performance overall. This is a uh, step or two maybe above the original Artisan but to be honest with you it's not at the same level with uh, Artisan Blue, which I also have. And that one is a green fragrance, therefore it performs better. I would have only preferred that uh, Artisan Pure would give me the same performance as this one. Because it smells freaking amazing. This is one fragrance, and also this one if you want. But this one in particular... It's a fragrance that you need to have in your collection. It's a fragrance that you need to own for summertime. If you respect yourself as a man, because as I said, this smells manly, yet elegant, yet uh, refined, yet um, clean, refreshing. And if you want to have the very best fragrances for summertime, in your collection this one should be in that collection together with also Vache Cologne together with uh, Concentré d'Orange Vert together with uh, Azzaro Solarissimo um, Levanzo for example and with many many others uh, from the house of Aqua di Parma, Mancera and uh, whatever you prefer in, term, in terms of niche fragrances Therefore, uh, this pretty much does it for this video, guys. This has been my uh, review about um, Artisan Pure from the house of John Varvatos. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I'm going to see you in the next one. As always, be safe. Peace.